For sure, you need a breathing treatment. Huh? We'll do one. Hand me that finger thing so I can check his finger. <coughs> this stuff cracks off soon, soon as I'm going to record. So, Laylee had the flu all last week. I swear we got the, they got the flu from Chuck E. Cheese. It's because they reuse their pizzas. What did it do? They, <laughs> they reuse the pizza. Shut up. Oh, wait. We didn't eat none of that damn pizza. No, I don't like their pizza anyway. It's, yeah, I don't. The kids are asleep. Except Rashani's He's up getting a breathing treatment. Tony's doing his thing on the computer. About to lay down and play some games. And go to bed. So tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to the meat market and getting some meat and getting it prepared for barbecue on Thursday because the weather is supposed to be pretty warm and though it may rain. I don't care. Nothing's gonna keep me from my barbecued boneless skinless chicken thighs <laughs> that Tony's gonna make for me. So I'll be eating that and I'll probably film some of the process of us barbecuing. It's just me and him. We're just gonna do it when the kids are at school. It's really cool. Um, my friend Angela is supposed to come. I'm not sure what time. So Friday. I'm going walking um, at the mall, not outside yet. I can't find anyone bold enough to brave the weather, even though it's almost spring and it's almost my birthday. Saturday, I have to take a pregnancy test. Uh-oh. Well, that's going to fuck up my flow. For sure. Yeah. Oh, no, man. Okay, so anyways, I don't know how loud the breathing treatment thing is, but it's going in the background if you want to know what the sound is. And so Saturday, I have to take a pregnancy test. But this is good news, people, because that means I'm getting my IUD placed. So I was taken off of birth control pills last April which is April 2018 because I had got pulmonary emboli in both lungs halted my weight loss surgery for three months because they don't do weight loss surgery that close to you having like a serious complication such as pulmonary embolism so both lungs in the hospital I was there three days and so they took me off birth control as a precaution to prevent more blood clots so I've been winging it <laughs> since April last year and mind you pregnancy is not on my mind so my doctor refused to give me an IUD. He refused to tie my tubes. He refused any of that because of my weight. He said I was too fat to get an IUD. So I skipped my pap smear last year because I was having the duodenal switch surgery. And this year I went to make an appointment for my annual and to discuss birth control options again and that doctor left the practice so I had got a new doctor and I was like well I'm gonna ask him but he's probably gonna say the same thing and he looked at me like I was crazy because I didn't have an IUD placed yet I told him the last doctor said I was too fat he said he's done IUDs on plenty of fat women so I'm getting my IUD next week I just have to pass this 
pregnancy test Saturday, which should be no problem since I started menstruating yesterday. And good news, y'all, because y'all know <laughs> what that means. No periods, right? <laughs> okay, so. Other than that, I am waiting a phone call from some apartments to see if we got approved for our unit. Um, I have no idea if we're gonna get approved or not. I am really hoping we do. And if we do, I'll let you guys be involved in that process as well. That's all I'm going to say for tonight. Probably going to start filming tomorrow for you guys. No special occasion. Um, I may go to the park and try to walk or something. Uh, my stamina with walking and even a little bit of running, I'd be playing with the kids, is vastly improved. I'm very impressed with the duodenal switch. All my fears about it are pretty much gone so far. I'm just waiting my six months checkup with that doctor to do the blood work and see how my vitamin levels and things are going, which who knows how that's going to be because it took three months for me to even get the vitamins correct. It took me three months to get the protein levels at where they need to be. It took me three months to get my mind from being completely addicted to food to really being picky about what I'm eating and what I'm ingesting and what I should and shouldn't. And it's almost like a complete 180 where I am now from where I was. Um, I'm thoroughly impressed with it. We'll see how that goes. I mean, I feel pretty much in control. I don't see myself backsliding at this point, and I see myself moving forward. So, I want to know where this journey is going to end. <laughs> so, if you follow me, I guess we will find out together. Okay, friends and family. So, I'll probably see you tomorrow when I'm getting ready for the meat market. And then we can go buy some meat. Good night. Hi. Hey guys, so it's the next day and we're about to go to the meat market. Tony. We're going to the meat market. Uh, Alright, see y'all there. I mean, this place looks pretty empty. <laughs> so it's likely that it's just gone. Because everybody was like, everything's been picked through already. Like, you gotta come early or something. We can go. Alright y'all, so we just, oh, hood open. I popped the hood. You got it? You mm -hmm. even know how to open it? Mm-mm. Go Shepard. Oh, you talking about that? Yeah. No, I don't know how to open oh, it. Oh, he knows y'all. He know, he know. Yeah, I do. He know, he know. Okay, I could have just said I'm not going to do it. Just call me right. these lab topics. I don't do these. So I lost 80 some pounds, but apparently fat. I'm so fat enough to pop the hood on accident. That's how you did that? I got it. How else did I do it? I must have been trying to straighten up and then my foot popped the trunk. Okay. So it's a little bit nice out here. So I'm rolling down the windows and we're going to have us a nice cruise back home from Michigan. And I will see y'all when we start getting the meat ready for the grill. But I don't know, they might get mad. Because they next to each other? Yeah. Oh well. You know how they do. We don't leave our shit rare. What's the point? What, what you eating lately? How you eat that with no teeth? It's a party. 
<laughs> That's how you eat it with no teeth? What the world? Ew. <laughs> y'all so it's 7 30 in the morning and we're supposed to barbecue today but it's supposed to be like severe thunderstorms around noon like possible tornadoes high winds all of that so i'm trying to get tony up to go barbecue now because we have like a good four hours before the storms but he's refusing so I'm just gonna go back to sleep and when we wake up we'll see what it looks like but it looks like we might be doing it tomorrow in the cold so I'll let you guys know okay y'all so we trying to beat the thunderstorm Tony got up it's about 10 o'clock right now storm's supposed to be here at 11 10 so uh, we probably gonna be out there in the tornado I don't know but we getting it done so I'll see y'all when we get to where we supposed to get the barbecue. We still gotta get hot dogs and charcoal. It's enough. Let try it. How much food is it? Well, I don't know. I was just getting hot. <laughs> <laughs> just check it. Okay. Okay, y'all. So difficult, right? We forgot some meat, so we back here to get some meat. We forgot the key, so we had to come back get the key. It's getting darker by the second. Okay, we about to go barbecue in this thunderstorm. So I'm trying to get some of that on footage. And we should talk about hair loss because I am going bald right here. I have a bald spot right here. It's pretty bad. A little bit right here, but not like as big as this one. So, I don't know how this is going to turn out. I don't know if it's going to get too bad. If it is, I will shave my hair off into some kind of style. Yeah, buy a wig. I've never worn wigs before, but why not? Until my hair grows back. Or just like find some kind of style, like shave my head or something. I don't know. Okay, so I officially hear thunder. It's 1022. Tony's still not into the car. We still have to buy charcoal and hot dogs. And it's thunderstorming. This is going to be <laughs> quite a feat. Okay, so... Here he come with the first thunder. I tried to pop the trunk for him, but I forgot he got my key. All right, y'all, so it already started raining and we got a lot of work to do. There's the girl. First TV. That's what it said. <laughs> Catch something on fire. This is where I recommend goggles because it's pretty windy. I'll just put my head together and say a little Go away. Oh, this dangerous. We got a tornado fire, a fire NATO. Those of you that ain't shark NATO, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> It was still, it was sharks in people's living rooms. The fuck? Yeah, yeah. See, look now, people probably looking at us crazy, but we're not socially accepted anyway, so it don't matter, right? Alright, y'all, so he finally ready for some of this meat. the sausage first. 
Oh shit, baby's starting to come down. You think I need to take these chairs in the house? He wants the big one and it's heavy, y'all. Okay, so the apartment's called and it's still not getting sent up for approval because I need to fill out another paper. So it looks like I won't know until next week if I'm getting the apartment. So I'm going to be on my way pretty soon to go fill out that paper. And I am going to try to finish up with Tony here with the grill. So I'll let you know how that goes. Ain't no difference, is it? Or them hot dogs about to come off fast, ain't they? Those ain't hot dogs. The kids ate them just the same, though, didn't they? Look like somebody got a burnt hot dog. Ooh. How burnt way up there? First thing off the grill. This is the sky looking like that. Yeah. So he sent me to go get his air because his tank out. We almost done. It's starting to rain again. We got a little break from the rain. It was looking nice. The sun was out. The rain's coming back. We almost done though. We just finishing up my chicken. The whole reason that we even out here is because of my chicken. That's what you like y'all to do. It is. Uh -huh. Nobody was even worried about no barbecue. Except for me and my chicken. <laughs> Alright y'all, so we're gonna wrap this we're gonna wrap this grill up. 